Hi, I'm Valerie Hamm with Umpqua Bank, and I'm here to welcome you to the Umpqua Catalyst Speaker Series. The Speaker Series is all about bringing in inspiring businesses who have unique stories that are really shifting paradigms and sharing their ideas and how they operate with the community here in San Francisco. Tonight we have our very first speakers here, and that is Cho Chocolates. And we have Jane and Lewis, the co-founders, here to join us, and they will be sharing their business story and the inspiration that they bring to work every day with everyone here. We are so honored to be a part of the Catalyst series. We're delighted to welcome Umqua Bank to San Francisco. Um, they feel like they belong here already. Uh, and I walked in here and I thought, well, this is a bank? You know, is it a design center? Is it a community center? So right away, you can tell that they're out to do something different. What is special about Cho? What are we trying to do when we make Cho? First thing is to try to group anybody that's making a product, first and foremost has to make a great product that delights whoever consumes it. And that's what the first and foremost thing we're trying to do, is a great experience. And today, you know, being involved in the chocolate industry is everything from agricultural policy to uh, uh, import and export issues to economic development to consumer marketing. When you came in, you should have been given a cap of chocolate. One is yellow and one is brown. Take a few little bites and then, wait a minute, and aspirate like you would with a glass of wine a little bit. And then close your eyes. You know, the vast majority of the world's cocoa farmers have never tasted chocolate. Forget chocolate making their ingredients. And we're teaching them how to do this, how to close their eyes and think. We're giving them the vocabulary to describe what they're tasting. The best work that you do is because you're obsessed. You can't help but do it. You can't force yourself to fall in love and you can't force yourself to be obsessed. But then when it does happen, you can't stop yourself anymore. And I think that's the story of getting involved with Cho and getting involved in chocolate in general.